Welcome, welcome, welcome to Be Well Together. All right, we have we have quite the things set up for you today. Um, with so many challenges going on in the world right now, it is super easy to get stuck in the negative. And I don't know about you, but I find that to be a little bit exhausting. So today we are going to give you this Be Well Together, this opportunity to just sit back, chill out a little bit and enjoy some really healthy belly laughs. I think it's an amazing way to be able to start a week together. So I am excited to welcome back for an encore performance uh, to the Be Well Together stage, the Second City Improv Group. Woohoo! Uh, yes, look at that. Yes, dialing it in. Um, in case you've never been to one of their shows, you know what a gut busting good time we are all about to have. They're known as the premier improv improvisational comedy enterprise, and they've been making people laugh for over 60 years. Um, and so today there will be a little bit of audience input. So you can, if you're an employee, you can check out our uh, Can't Be Well chatter group. And also helping us moderate today is Jeffrey Wang. So Jeffrey, welcome back to the show. Uh, and now, most importantly, uh coming to you live but from their stages that are in all of their own homes we have the very talented and witty liz joint sandberg rashawn scott shargill rasul and piero procaccini welcome guys hi everybody thanks so much jody thank you so much i'm liz i want to welcome you to this laugh and learn event with the second city um, i'm one of your facilitators today as well as the designer for the second city and we're going to be spending the next 30 minutes together sharing some of the ways that an improvisational mindset can help foster more effective communication for all of us as we navigate this new terrain and as jody already mentioned i'm joined by my dear friend piero piero how are you i'm great thank you so much for asking uh, in just a moment, we're going to introduce you to the rest of the cast, some of the other names that Jody mentioned. Um, before we get started, we did want to just establish a, a little bit of background and some ground rules. Liz? Yeah, so The Second City is an uh, improv comedy theater. We've been around for over 60 years. Um, we've got theaters in, uh, and training centers in Chicago, Toronto, um, and a training center in LA as well. Um, and we're famous for two things. We're famous for improvisation, um, just making it up as you go, like you might see on Whose Line Is It Anyway, and sketch comedy, um, which is scripted comedy based on that improvisation, like you might see on Saturday Night Live. Um, you may not be aware of this, but you improvise every day. So many of the skills and mindsets that you use in your day to day are the same ones that we use on stage. So you can apply the wisdom that we use off stage as well. And we're here to share a little bit of those um, skills with you today. So let's set the table with just three key improv principles that are really important to what we do. The first is trusting ourselves to make choices. That, that self-trust is really important. Uh, we have to trust that what we are uh, doing makes sense uh, and is in, in the moment, even if we're not entirely sure of the outcome, we have to be willing to take that risk of, of making that choice. Yeah, and it's also really important that as we're making those choices, that we reserve judgment of ourselves, that we reserve judgment of each other, and that we even reserve judgment of the experience that we're having together. Now, this can be particularly challenging, especially in an environment like this one. This virtual Zoom room that we are constantly navigating is new for many of us. Um, it's easy to want to judge something that's unfamiliar, but we find that if we tap into our curiosity instead of that judgment, judgment, we learn much more. Um, we enjoy our experience more, and it also helps strengthen our ability to adapt. Yeah, and this ties so closely to the third idea, which is this idea of creating an environment of support. In order to do those first two things, we have to start from a place of support where we really can have the freedom and the liberty to take some of those risks uh, and to make some of those choices and reserve that judgment. So keep those three things in mind as we move forward. Uh, one of the great ways that we demonstrate that support is through uproarious applause. So even though we can't see or hear you at home, the more that you send that energy our way, the better. That's right, we'll rely on Jeffrey and Jody for a little bit of that on screen as well. Yeah, they'll be uh, capturing it and sending it to us. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, exactly. But I think we're ready to dig in. So before we do that, I want to welcome our cast. Please send that applause now as we welcome Rashawn and Shargill. Yes. Hi, y'all. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, th that's awesome. So we are uh, going to be improvising for you, and we are going to be aided by uh, two other members of our team here that we want to introduce you to very quickly. Uh, Jesse Case, who will be on the keys, accompanying us 
uh, all, all session long. Hi, Jesse. And also Nick Salidio, who will be uh, dealing with all of our background tech. Hi, folks. They'll be hiding in the digital bushes, uh, but they will be there in support. <laughs> and uh, as we take suggestions from you, we're going to be feeding those suggestions through Jeffrey. So as you input those suggestions, Jeffrey will read them and then send them our way. Uh, let's take it away, Liz. Yeah, we're gonna jump right in. So to get us started, we'd love for um, you to give us the suggestion of an object. So again, for any Salesforce folks with us, um, go ahead and enter those into the Camp Be Well chatter right now. And as you're doing that, um, I'm gonna share a little bit about what we're about to do. So we know that quarantine is affecting us all in different ways. Now, some of us are beginning to go a little stir crazy, right? Okay, so we want to start off with a game that we call Quarantine With Me. Um, I'm going to select an object from the chatter that we get, and then the cast is going to tell us why quarantining with them is like that object. So, Jeffrey, have we hit, have we got anything from the chatter yet that we could maybe use as a suggestion to get us started? Uh, nothing yet. I don't see anything coming through, but, you know, I'm just going to throw some things out there that are helpful. Yes, yes, Jeffrey! Um, Come to this. Yeah, have, in the like, meantime, uh, send those in the chatter. Starter, um, Let's see, masks. Quarantining with me is like masks. Okay, fantastic. Quarantining with me is like masks. Up here. Uh, quarantining with me is like a mask. You never know who's behind it. <laughs> uh, Sharjo. Uh, quarantining with me is like a mask. Uh, you don't want to see my entire face. Okay. I'm letting myself go. Right. Rashad. Quarantining with me is like a mask because I'm Jim Carrey and I deserve an Oscar for my performance. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Later. stop her. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, what else? What else could we, what else could quarantining with us be like? Uh, let's see, a uh, beach ball can opener. Oh, I'm gonna take beach ball. Quarantining okay. with me is like a beach ball. Who's not? Quarantining with me is like a beach ball because I inflate about two to three inches every couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, quarantining with me is like a beach ball. Uh, even though it belongs on the beach, it mostly stays home. Uh, quarantining with me is like an old beach ball. I'm, fe I'm feeling uh, deflated these days, so. Quarantining with me is like a beach ball. Give me a little pat on the bottom and I'll go to the ceiling. <laughs> that, I think that's pretty great. Let's get one more, Jeffrey. What else? Uh, let's see. How about phone charger? Oh, uh, yes. Quarantining okay. with me is like a phone charger. Phone charger. <laughs> phone charger. Oh, quarantine with me is like a phone charger because my wires are frayed, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Quarantining with me is like a phone charger. I'm always lost. <laughs> that felt a little bit spiritual. Um, Charger. Uh, quarantining with me is like a phone charger. I'm just going to be staying indoors. <laughs> so that's what a phone charger is. It just stays indoors. Quarantining with me is like a phone charger. I left it at my mom's house and I'm never getting that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do a big round of applause for our cats. You have to quarantine with us. So just go ahead and take a second and celebrate that. Um, so let's talk about that just a little bit because we just kind of demonstrated. Well, I didn't, but um, or Prashan and Charlotte Piero did demonstrated those three uh, key sort of competencies that we dig into uh, in order to be able to improvise well together. Um, so we were really like watching these folks take turns taking risks. Um, when everybody's got each other's backs and we're existing in that culture of support, it's not quite as scary as it would be to just kind of like go out with what you've got, right? I mean, that was all comedy gold. But in case it wasn't, they knew that they had each other's backs and they were going to take turns taking those risks. Not one person has to do all of the risk taking or all of the heavy lifting. And the other thing that we saw these folks doing was being really playful and embracing a sense of play, right? Nobody looks stupid when they're having fun. Amy Poehler says that, and that's absolutely true in this instance. Everybody, if we're committed to having a great time and to leveraging some play and some joy in the work that we're doing, it makes it a lot easier to take turns taking risks, to show up for one another, and even to show up for ourselves and like explore some stuff that, you know, we may not have ever discovered before. 
So give it up for them one more time. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh gosh, Thank you, Liz. You so supportive. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. So for this next improvisation, we need an audience volunteer. And Jody has been gracious enough to uh, be willing to join us for this. So Jody. And wait. This is your, this is your moment this is to shine. This is my big moment. OK, here we go. So here's what's about to happen, Jody. Uh, we are about to have what we are calling a subjective scavenger hunt, which means uh, that the cast is going to scour their homes for objects in the categories that I give. Uh, and then they will bring those objects back. They will uh, explain why they are a perfect fit for that category. And then you, Jody, get to decide who who wins each round. So, oh, uh, I do love being judgmental. I was <laughs> going to say, the good news is it's totally subjective. So whatever you say is right. Your okay. your your word is uh, is uh, absolutely the the end uh, the end word on it. So okay. Um, we are going to have this scavenger hunt. The cast is uh, ready to go. Uh, Liz, Rashawn, and Chargel, you all set? Always. No okay, way. I'm going to give you your first category that you're going to scour your homes for. And your first category is something green. Something green. I'm kind of in their homes right now, right, Piero? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Totally right. This is great. We're getting like house tours. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh, Liz, we got <laughs> Yeah, Liz has got a freeze there. Liz froze. That's okay. All right, we're coming <laughs> really back. Great position. We're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna give Liz a chance to come back. I think she may have frozen on us. Uh, but as we're doing it, she's back. She's back. All right, great. All right. So obviously, Jody has already come to the table wearing something green. Uh, let's go to the cast and find out what uh, green items you all brought. Let me start with uh, Shargel. Okay, great. So I was just scouring uh, this room and I did find something green, but as soon as I came back to the desk, I think I found something much, much better. So initially it was this uh, green Hulk, oh, okay. but I might be able to tie this in, but uh, just a little insight into my life. I guess before this uh, show, I was looking up um, Dev Patel. Dev Patel, oh, okay. uh, you know, he's a, he's a South Asian actor. You know, he's been a slub dog millionaire. Uh -huh, I was uh -huh. just looking him up and I'm just like, I'm never going to be like a beautiful South Asian actor like Dev Patel, right? So uh, oh, I'm kind of, so you agree. So I'm just, uh, <laughs> so to tie this in with something green, just looking him up, I am green with envy oh, of, 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 of his talent and skill. And given like how many credits he has to his name, I am very, very green. As oh, a, oh wow okay that's yeah, a double yeah, yeah. that's a double, a double. right there a double. A double. Let's make it triple, so I, it makes me angry like the hulk <laughs> <laughs> okay wow triple play from chardo uh rashad let's see what you got wow 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 now um around my home there's a lot of green things obviously i've got a lot of planty situations but uh i thought jody you would connect with this so deeply you seem to be a lady uh we say of the same mindset we love a deal this is a bulk Ooh. container of mm. olive oil okay. yes at costco i had two of these 13.99 that's a good deal <laughs> oh very very green. nice and it's economical because i'll just refill and it's healthy and Ooh, it's really good for the heart. I like it. It's so you, it is green and you're saving green, Rashawn, if I'm hearing exactly. you right. Okay, mm -hmm. great, 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 great. And it's healthy. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Liz, what you, what do you got? Yeah, so uh, here in beautiful Rogers Park, Chicago, this <laughs> is uh, my patio. I think you can kind of like see it. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Um, I got a lot of brown plants though. Um, and the floor <laughs> is concrete. And it's also kind of a rat sanctuary. But I want to draw your attention to the wealthy neighbors situation. <laughs> wow. Uh, we've got a pergola. We've got like all kinds of like um, kind of ornamental trees. Um, there is like a uh, specific flooring that was put in. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I hate to say, I'm green with envy. Like that patio is <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right. So Liz and Chargel, that's awesome. And, and, and it's got some green too, that's great. I mean, yeah, and some plants. But I'm doing my best, okay? But I'm busy doing my job, all right? So. <laughs> That is awesome. All right, Jody. Uh, it's, it, the time has come. Who okay, well, I'm not gonna lie. This was a this was a difficult decision, and I really did appreciate Chargel's triple threat. But I feel like Liz needs some sort of a bone here for having to stare outside at like all of the the flower and flora next door to her like 
desert dying garden. <laughs> Yeah. 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 We gave we gave we gave Liz, Liz. Liz. gives the Liz for the win. That is awesome. Uh, all right, we're gonna do one more round here before we close out. Uh, and in the spirit of uh, of the uh, the sentiment of be be well, uh, we want you to find the category for this round is um, something in your home that makes you happy. Something in your home that makes you happy. Go. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are back. We're back. So let's go, uh, Liz. You won that last round, although you are frozen. Maybe uh, let me let me give you a chance to come back in. Okay, there you are. Oh hi. Okay, great, Liz. We're gonna start with you since you won the last round. Hi. Um. So this is my daughter, Merce. Um, hi, Merce. She's laughing. How dare you? Um, <laughs> she makes me very happy. Merce, you want to to a lot of people on the internet. Hi, 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 back at you. Internet says hi. Oh my gosh. Hi, Merce. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Liz. Hi, Merce. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Rashawn, what do you got? Well, um, I, I, uh, I don't know why I'm taking such a weird way to intro this, but <laughs> what I decided to get <laughs> was something that really makes me happy is games. And I have this great board game called Dragoon, oh, awesome. where you are, are a dragon and you fight other dragons uh, to get gold. And it makes me really happy. It would make me happier if I lived with someone so I could play it, but it's still fun. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Rashad. Shargel, how about you? All right. So uh, what I have right now is a uh, my girlfriend's old ticket. And it, this was a Knicks versus Bobcats game. Okay. And why I guess this makes me happy is because it just reminds me of, like, you know, the Knicks, you know, doing really, really bad, you know. It's all these bad basketball teams. Makes me, it, just, it reminds me of the number one team right now, which is the Toronto Raptors. Okay. All right, my hometown, <laughs> Toronto. All right, I'm repping right. Toronto. Go Raps, go. That's what makes me happy. What is that? <laughs> I love it. That's an aggressive happy. Thanks, Charger. <laughs> ah. All right, Jody, the time has come. Who hey, wins I this have round? to take a second. I have to take a second because I'm going to prove to you why I have a I have an authentic heartfelt match with somebody on this Oh call. my gosh, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh you get it. I love it. She's going for it. Okay, are you ready for this? Yes. I have a daughter, but my daughter is a dragon lover. Oh! This, this Wait, is, it works for all of us. This is, yes, look at this. This, oh my is God. Like a, this is the remainder of a balloon from her birthday party. Oh my gosh. And so I am all over Dragoon. I mean, is this like <laughs> safe for kids? <laughs> yes, Rashad. <laughs> Good question. I don't know, Rashad, is it is a game okay for kids? Is Dragoon safe for kids? Uh, this is ages 13 and up, but okay. I mean... I've I mean, she's my... mature. <laughs> I'm rolling with it. Oh my gosh. And Rashad's oh, right. I can't up. believe, Jody. that connected to all three. Your daughter, uh, Rashad's <laughs> Dragoon, and technically, dragons are raptors. So... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Jody. That was super fun. And thank you to the cast. The quick point we want to make that ties into obviously improv <laughs> and also what we feel is, is a really important aspect is really work to make your stories personal. Notice that part of the fun in that was how we learned so much about the, uh, about, about the, about the cast. That idea of making stories personal, being willing to bring yourself uh, to a story and bring yourself to a conversation can really make the difference, especially when we're working virtually. Uh, we have to be even more mindful of that so that we're making those connections virtually. That is all the time we have uh, right now. So we, we do want to wrap up with uh, just a reminding of these three points. So Nick, if you want to put up that slide for us, we'll just uh, review those three important things. This idea of embracing play, taking turns, taking risks, and making your stories personal. Uh, and now, Jody, let me throw it back to you because we do have a couple uh, minutes for, for any questions or, um, or thoughts. Well, I guess I'm just curious to hear a little bit from, from you about, you know, how you have kind of dug into these natural skills and these skills that you've been honing over the years to just maybe um, 
you know, find peace with this, all of the uncertainty in the world today? And do you find yourself just in your personal life thinking about like these three rules and thinking about, you know, how you show up amongst your friends and your family? Yeah, I have some thoughts on that. Anyone else want to jump in before I do? Because, <laughs> you know, my, my, friend, my friend can talk. Um, Rashawn? I mean, absolutely. Because we are of improv minded, we are trying to come up with solutions uh, to, to literally everything that's happening, even though we're just playing pretend. But in a world where everyone's been going about something, their regular routine is interrupted and they're not sure how to, like, you know, adapt. These skills allowed me to like change my home into a space that it has to be a workspace now. And it has to also be a comforting space. It also has to be a place of restoration. So we, you have to, uh, it allows you to look outside of yourself and see a different perspective. Not everyone's going to experience the world the same way you do. And you may not, may not even be able to experience the world the way you have done uh, previously. So we're, we're like we said earlier, you're improvising literally as I'm speaking. Every single day is a new scene, a new story. So you just have mm -hmm. to adapt. Yeah. And do you find that people in your personal network are kind of trying to draw upon some of those skills? I mean, oh, do, do, you, do, you, do you see that as kind of like a, maybe a new leadership role that you're taking just in your personal life? Oh yeah, even doing things digitally feels almost more um, impactful than when we did it in person because people mm -hmm. need it. They need to see that people are still living mm -hmm. their lives and yeah. finding uh, humanity in the humor at the same yeah. time. Great. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, other thoughts? Yeah. No, I'll, I mean, I'll, like, it's just great, yeah, like, perfect. adapting to, like, performing online even. Like, I'm just embracing that. It's a, it's a totally new weird medium but it's it's a lot of fun and in some ways it's similar to performing life because in both i never hear the laughs anyways but, uh, <laughs> uh, but it's <laughs> literally <laughs> the statement proves it proves itself wrong uh, <laughs> oh my gosh this is recorded right <laughs> <laughs> but it's great because i mean even though i can't hear the audience i mean i still feel connected with the people that i'm performing with and the people that i am sharing the screen with so it's 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 a different way of connecting. Like it's just something that I didn't really appreciate or even understand prior to everything that's happening now. So it's just, I'm learning new things every single day, which is pretty neat, yeah. Yeah, I think the, the one thing I'll, the, I'll add to piggyback on both of these points is that uh, w where we may have a bit of an advantage is that we really treat all of these as muscles. So we have a lot of practice in them. We have a lot of practice facing the unknown, suddenly navigating circumstances that we're, un we're unused to, uh, uh, suddenly, looking for that human connection. These are all things that, that we practice when we're doing, when we are practicing improv. Uh, and that's really what we encourage other people to do too, that idea that you're not gonna suddenly be amazing at these skills by just knowing about them. You really have to sure. commit to the, the process of practice. Right, and yeah. what a great time, right? We're all learning, we're all like in this together and it's a really great time to be able to, to uh, flex a new muscle, yeah. build a new yeah, skill, everyone. walk out on the other side of this with a, with a, with a newfound uh, hobby. Yeah. Absolutely. Everyone learned how to make sourdough bread very easily. <laughs> it only yes. took a month. Right. We can all learn to adapt. We, we to all have world. a new skill now. I'm all sure right. Well, listen, I think all of our refrigerators needing to be cleaned um, because <laughs> <laughs> yes. it and exploded everywhere. But you know, we're all learning. <laughs> hey, Liz, I mean, maybe gardening? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jody, burn too no, soon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But listen, um, thank you so much for joining us today. It's always a pleasure when you come on. We really, really appreciate your time, your laughs, and your amazing skills. Be happy, be well, and we will see you back here again soon. Thank you.